Welcome back people and welcome to the new people to the Off Script channel. Yes guys, we are fresh back from Kingpin and hello mm. to all you, you lovely new faces. Now I'm Biel. And I'm Morgan. And yeah, we come back from Kingpin and we're going to give you a little breakdown of the whole fight week and a few special things to come. Okay, so jumping into the event, it was huge. We got interviews with some of the biggest stars there. But tell me Biel, who was the best person of the event? I was impressed by all fighters that night, but there was one that brought the fans, Ooh. brought the energy. Mm. It was Winderson. Winderson. He he was a beast. I'll be honest with you. Mm. He really impressed me. You know, my boy King Kenny. He's going forwards next. He's going to be fighting Winderson mm. next, and it's going to be a tough fight. Nevertheless, I think all fighters really impressed me. All fighters. They they put in a shift. Not just the men, the women. Everyone was on it. It was a great event. It was a great event. Thank you, Kingpin, for having us. Thank We're you very much. We'll see you in the next one. Yeah, Dublin coming soon. So after watching that uh, Kingpin tournament. Mm. Who do you think is going to win it? Now, obviously, I know you mm. and King Kenny, good boys and that, mm. but Winderson does look dangerous. He does so, look dangerous. However, I think that could be the, the championship eliminator. Whoever's winning that fight, for me, is sitting at rank number one. Now, I hear you ignoring a big name. Big I name. hear you ignoring Anison Gibbs. Anison Gibbs, so big what, what, did, what did you make of Anison Gibbs' actual skill that night, and what did you make of his whole now, overall performance? I feel unfortunate for Big Gibber because mm. Austin McBroom, some am saying his ankles was butchered and other people are saying it's a bit of um, El Imposter. Mm. So I feel like we didn't get to see Gibbs full potential. When Gibbs throwing his punches, occasionally his legs are looking a little bit off balance. If someone lands a good clean strike like Jake Paul did against him, that balance is going to tell a, a pretty tale. I agree with you there. I think Gibb, he has that tenacity. I think he might mm. be one of the most hard working, if not the hardest working 100%. there. You know, he looked in shape. His shots look really powerful, mm. do not get me wrong. But his balance is still not there yet. Mm. And I think it is because he is an amateur boxer. He is a novice. He's not matured enough yet in the boxing scene to be able to move more fluidly like Winderson, uh, Kenny. The other one, well, even, even Jarvis. Jarvis, Jarvis looked very looks very, it looks solid. very natural to him, whereas mm. Gibbs doesn't look as natural. However, I would not write him off on the oh, competition. You can never he, rule Gibb out. He works so hard mm. and I wouldn't want to write him off. If I'm thinking more, I'm thinking Jarvis, Kenny, Winderson. And he's gonna get, any of these fighters Kenny. can win it. This tournament is stacked on the I, men's side. I could not write it off. I, I mean, I was surprised with Zanetti actually mm. giving up in this fight. Anyone can win mm. in this tournament. That's what makes it so interesting. And that's just the men's side. Let's, let's circle around to the women's. Let's go to the women's. Now, I was impressed with Barbie. Mm. As much as I didn't like seeing her scream and shout in the ring. Scream and shout. That was a bit cringeworthy. <laughs> but I was very impressed because I thought Whitney going into it was one of the favourites. And mm. But Barbie's so big, man. I'll tell you something. Julie also impressed me. The Brazil Brazilians mm. impressed me this time around. She impressed me. She looked powerful. She looked strong. Mm. I mean, all the women just didn't want to give up in there. Yeah. I think, obviously, the men's did look more technical. However, the women just went for it, and they I really appreciated that. That I think with the women's, I think everyone wants Barbie to win. I personally think, I know her perform last performance wasn't what she wanted, but either L or I see Julie winning it. Mm. Yeah, obviously, I think L broke. We interviewed her. Shout out L broke. What a lovely, lovely lady you are. But yeah, it's just gonna be so difficult to get past Barbie's size. They might need to have a rehydration clause in for her because she was just so big in there and mm. all the other girls in comparison. Mm. It's gonna be a long night. And when them. it is at that novice level, mm. height and weight does weight. make a big difference. 100%. You know, when it gets to the higher levels, it doesn't matter so much. It still does take a factor, but it doesn't matter as much. Mm. You know, you're, like with Salt Packy and Josh Brooklyn, you can see the levels really are shown there. 100%. When it's this novice sort of level, it can make a big difference, mm. you know, especially trying to you know, control someone that big mm. and dictate them around the fight. But it wasn't just the YouTube boxing. We actually interviewed someone that's not fought in the ring yet. Mm. He's a little menace. You may mm. know him, known as a Nico Milana. A Nico or Milana. Now, now, Nico, this is a message for you, my friend. For you. We were not able to get in the ring that night, mm. but mark my word, you're going to see me in the ring very soon. Now, editor, put, put in the clip. Well, I was planning on challenging you. Challenging me? Yeah, uh, yeah, on the off script. Okay, so, okay, uh, yeah, so you're I'll, just I'll, gonna give us a little message. Yeah, yeah I was gonna so, give you a message so, and then so, we're, we're, we're gonna see how it goes. Right now, tonight. Huh? We will, right we will now, do right something now. now. We will get in the ring. Right now. Get in the ring. Get in the ring. If we okay. get in the ring, huh? we will we get? get a follow? If you get in the ring, you will get anything you want in this life. So, are we gonna fold? 
I we're, think not, people. We have not folded. Misfits 007 is around the corner no, and there is a master now. plan. Whether it be, you, you won't know when we're getting in that ring, mm. but you're going to see us in there. You're going to see us. We're going to be the new ring, Saeed. We're going to take that crown off of you. So make sure to stay tuned. Yeah, make sure you're staying tuned. No, shout out to Kingpin, but also shout out to Misfits. We're going to be there very soon, yeah. hopefully. Be at the May card, the KSI card. So I know you guys are excited mm. for that. We're excited. Back Ooh, in London it's again. It's going to be a banger. It's going to be a banger. But also, let's take a moment. Shout out you guys. Thank mm. you so much for giving us a like and follow. We've been reading through the comments. We appreciate all the yeah. support. Make sure to follow all our socials. Mm. We don't just post on YouTube. We post on Instagram, TikTok, all of it, Twitter. We're on it all. Yeah, on Make all, sure man. you're staying tuned and you can see some very exciting stuff from our end. Mm. You're not just going to see the interviews. Yeah. You're going to see a various amount of... Yeah. We're, we're not, we're we're not going to keep it dry. We're off script, man. We're not we going to keep it dry. Anyone out there that wants a tag team? Mm. That doesn't just mean boxing, by the way, so hey, hey, interpret that as you want. As you will. Yes, guys, thank you for tuning in. Thank, thank you for the love and support. For the love and support. We've been off script. I've been mm. Morgan. I've been Biel. And yeah, make sure you're subscribing. Subscribe. You're putting that notification bell on. It's on. It's ringing. And yeah, we'll see you very, very soon at the next event. And make sure you're watching all our interviews and everything leading up to it. Boom.